Hello everyone, uh, Dan here from Waygate Technologies and welcome to another installment in our series on the USM100 portable flaw detector. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about our two-point calibration features. We're going to look at two different ways of doing this. Uh, in the first we're going to look at using a straight beam probe on a traditional step block. Show you a quick way to, to get that dialed in. And then we'll look at an angle beam probe on our uh, DSC calibration block. Alright, so we'll start from scratch here. Launch our provided uh, conventional app. Start from the beginning. Um, I've selected a, a 5 megahertz gamma probe, so there's not a lot to, to change about the probe setup on this. Um, the default value is already 5 megahertz, but we can come in here and look at the probe setup. Um, because we're going to be doing a straight beam calibration on a steel block, uh, the default velocity of 0.23 uh, inches per microsecond is going to uh, be close. The probe frequency is already selected at 5 megahertz, so that's going to do a, a good job of setting the pulser width. Um, this frequency control in the probe menu uh, deals uh, mainly with the calculation of pulse width for our square wave pulser, so optimizing the pulser to work with the, the probe. Uh, the filter selections are over here on the UT menu, and we see that's already set to 5 megahertz. Okay. So we're in a good starting point. Let's put a little coupling on our block and we'll just look at one inch here. So we can take our gain down some. We'll use the auto 80 function to get the gain on the one inch block in gate A nicely at uh, 80%. Let's close that and we'll go to our two point calibration menu. And I'll swipe out my sidebar. I'm going to calibrate on the one inch thickness, so we'll change that to an inch. And I'm going to make use of our multi back wall calibration. So this allows us to do the calibration in one quick step. I'm going to drag my gate B here so it's about the same place on the flank as gate A. And all I need to do is hit the calibrate button and our calibration completes and we, it looks like we measured 0.2328 inches per microsecond of velocity and 0.332 microseconds of delay. Notice our reading up here for sound path in gate A is right at an inch, 0.999. Get a little more coupling on here. So there at an inch three quarters of an inch. Let's drag our gate A here, make it a little wider. So we can measure over the range. Half inch and a quarter inch. So our delay and velocity calibration completed as we expected. Okay. Now let's switch over here and let's take a look at an angle beam calibration. So change out our probe. So now we're going to need to change a couple of things because this is in fact a two and a quarter megahertz probe. So let's go back here and set up, go to our probe menu. First thing we ought to do since we're going to be working in shear wave is Let's change the, the ballpark figure for our velocity to get us in the, in the general area of uh, shear velocity in steel. I picked 0.13 there. Let's take a look at our probe frequency. We'll set that to 2.25 to better optimize the pulser for this probe. And we're going to go to the pulsar receiver menu and we'll change our filter to two and a quarter megahertz. And we start to see now our echo from the 
Let's take our gain up, change our dB step to uh, some coarser steps, 6 dB steps for now. Give the gain tap on the back. Okay, and here's our echo from this one inch radius of the, the uh, DSC block. Now the DSC block gives us a one inch radius and a three inch. If I turn the probe around and shoot this direction, I get three inch. When I'm on the one inch, I actually get an echo from one inch and also an echo from five inches. So one plus three plus one gives me five. So now if I extend my range out to say eight inches, there's my echo at one inch, and I have an echo out here at five inches. So let's close that. We'll swipe out our sidebar, and we're going to go to multi-step calibration. And we're going to tell it that we want to have our first reference at an inch. We're going to do our second reference at five inches. Okay. We can drag our gate over the echo. And let's get that up to 80% screen height. Use the audio auto 80 feature to bring that up. Get it peaked up there. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and do our calibration. Let's close that. Close that. Let's hit our cal button. And it says show me the five inch echo. So let's come out here, get some more amplitude, gate over the 5 inch, right there, and hit cal. And it calculates the velocity at 0.1278 uh, inches per microsecond, and our uh, probe delay at 3.19 microseconds. So now if I go back to my 1 inch radius, just a little bit shy there. Depends on the exact placement of the probe. And our 5 inch. And right here is an echo that is about 3 eighths of an inch inside the back wall from an EDM notch in the back of the, the, uh, in the larger radius of the DSC block. Okay. So that gave you a look at two different methods for doing um, velocity and delay calibration on the USM100. Took a look at the straight beam probe on a normal, on a general purpose step block. We used the multi-back wall uh, method for that. Do it all in one, one step. And on the Angle beam calibration, we used the multi-step calibration, showed it the one inch separately from the five inch. Uh, quick and easy to, uh, to do the delay and uh, velocity calibration. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, as always, uh, if you have any questions about the USM100 or technical questions on any subject, please reach out to remote service at bakerhughes.com. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.